Hey guys, this is an update of the Emerson Electric motor with the general grinder. Uh, I never talked about the first video, or throughout the first video, but I mean, I am just had to do an update now just because I've started doing this a lot more. So this is it after two years of use. Uh, everything's held up pretty well actually, as you can see I got all the metal flake here, because you don't really clean it that much. But it's held up pretty nicely, I mean, some of it's, I got a little bit of surface rust here just from where the grinder wheels hit it. Um, I mean, everything's still pretty good. I don't even remember how many horsepower this thing is. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Uh, this is also a six horsepower, just like the uh, scroll saw. Um, as you can see, it's gotten a little bit like this. I was gonna try and change it around to have the wheels go down on the table, like grinders are supposed to have. And it wasn't really a possible setup with the kind of motor it was. So I just left it original. Um, one of the cool things I did learn about this is this kind of head is actually meant for sharpening uh, sickles, I believe. So I thought that was kind of cool, and you don't see that much anymore. Um, I did buy, when I bought the stickers for the scroll saw, I also bought a General Electric, or not General Electric, a General Manufacturing Company sticker that'll go on here, and I bought an Emerson Electric sticker that'll go on the motor. Um, VintageMachinery.com had all the original decals. Uh, belts, way too loose. Uh, I bought the wrong size belt for it and I never really changed it. So I do have the bolts all the way back on the motor though, so there's not much I can do. I wanted to show it firing up. It's pretty silent. I should probably oil some of the bearings. I don't use this thing that much just because I don't have a big need for metal grinder. But the motor runs silent. If you watch the original video, you can see it was in horrible, horrible shape. Everything was rusted, the motor sat outside exposed. And considering that was its past, it actually runs fantastic. So, uh, the only problem that I do have with it, one, the belt isn't as tensioned, so I don't get that good of a grip, but it will wear down the wheel. Or not wear down the wheel, but wear down the speed. And it's only 6 horsepower, so it's not the most powerful grinder in the world. But, considering I paid like $8 for it and another 20 in paint, and then the rest of just my time it worked out pretty well. Um, I should probably zip tie these wires back in place just because they're not good to have loose. I'll probably end up rewiring it. This was the first 120 volt uh, motor that I ever wired. Since then, I've done a lot more of them, I think like three or four, because uh, it's not like an everyday task. So, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, it matches the scroll saw. Uh, the paint's, I think, two or three shades off on. Uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint, but other than that, it's not that bad. Apparently, this paint is the same as the table on the table saw, but I looked, and I think this one had a lot more metal flake in it than the other uh, aluminum one. So, that's my update after two years. Hope you guys enjoy.